Hank here with an update on adding webcams to the Roadcaster video. When the Roadcaster video came out, there wasn't a lot of information about which webcams to use. So I went on Amazon and purchased this cheap 1080p webcam and I made my video. You can see in the video that the webcam works just fine. However, after firmware updates down the road, things changed. When I used the inspection button on the Roadcaster video, it would show this webcam as 720p. As you can clearly see on the screen in OBS, the webcam is a 1080p webcam. Down the road after I plugged it in again, the Roadcaster video stopped showing anything from that webcam, even though you clearly see it works when plugged into the computer. So instead of griping about it, I went to Rode's very own compatibility list and I purchased what I thought to be the cheapest, still good option, the Logitech C920 HD Pro. I have co-hosts that I sent that webcam to and I think it looks great, but there's an issue. So if we switch over to the Logitech C920 HD Pro and I'll just hold it above the Roadcaster video. And there you see, and you're starting to see that the frame rate is pretty bad. And I'll just wave my hand back and forth slowly and I look like Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. So I contacted Rode and this is what they had to say. The person says, I've had the pleasure of working with Logitech webcams and their USB connections. And I'd love to share some insights. While you might enjoy a higher frame rate with a direct connection to your computer, the Roadcaster video can only accept uncompressed video. To boost the frame rate, these USB webcams use compression, which allows for more data to travel through the USB cable. This means that when it comes to uncompressed video, it will only come through at the lowest frame rate, which is around 24 frames per second in this case as compression is required to get anything above this frame rate. If there are other webcams that can produce a higher frame rate uncompressed, and if you are able to find them, they should meet the needs for what you are looking for. I hope this information helps, but if you have any further questions or clarifications, please don't hesitate to let me know. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that information. This is not a gotcha on road or anything like that. I was just a little frustrated that I went to their very own website, purchased a camera off the compatibility list, and then have this goofy issue that I'm having where the frame rate is terrible. So I did what any rational YouTuber would do, and that's spend more money on another camera on their recommended list. And in came the Elgato Facecam Mark II. So the Elgato Facecam definitely says it's uncompressed and so I purchased that it was regularly like $130 but I got it for $100 during Amazon Prime days so we'll switch to the overhead over here and as you can see I can wave my hand back and forth and I don't get the Mr. Fantastic blur hands and it shows a really good image to be absolutely honest I use Canon M200 mirrorless cameras that's what my studio is set up with they're really low end cameras they're still capable of 4k but i just use 1080p for youtube and i can switch back and forth between them but with the proper lighting and with some tweaking i think that face cam could probably compete at the time of this recording anyway i think that list should be altered just in my opinion the c920 as it stands currently at the time of this recording, is just unusable for this device. So I wonder why they have it on that list. I think it should come off that list, and that list should legitimately be only uncompressed webcams that will maintain a solid frame rate. I had tried everything, too, with changing the frame rate of the broadcaster video, restarting, I even did a factory reset just to see if I could get it to do something different or work a little better or whatnot. I pretty much did everything I could with the exception of rolling back the firmware to the original firmware. 
However, that's something I might do in the future just to see if I could get this to work with the old Nexigo webcam and the C920 based on how the device used to operate. So I'm kind of curious on that. But if you have other webcams that you know for a fact work that are uncompressed and give you a good frame rate, please drop them in the comments below. And for my prior video, I'll probably unlist it or at the least put an annotation and a screen overlay for this video, just so people don't think they can buy any old webcam and use it with the Roadcaster video. As I said in the comments, if you know of other webcams that work for sure that you've personally used on your Roadcaster video, leave them down below. Maybe we can curate a list and have confirmed only webcams on there. I hope this helps. As always, thank you.